Yo, what's going on? It's your boy D Man. You already know. Blah blah blah. Now, LeBron James, though, signing with the Cavs, going back home. You know, I have to speak on this real quick because yesterday I just put up a video about free agency. We was just talking about LeBron and Bosch and what they were going to do. And this morning or earlier today, LeBron James decided to go back to the Cavaliers and play with Kyrie Irving and Andrew Wiggins. Draft day. A Wiggins. Y'all know Drake. Never mind. But. Now that leaves Bosch out there and Carmelo Anthony out there. That's who I'm really waiting on. I'm also waiting on Pau Gasol. Let me make sure I say Pau right because people got on me for saying Pau Gasol when it's Pau Gasol. It's all good. But we have Carmelo Anthony. No idea what he's going to do. And the Heat actually have a max contract ready for Chris Bosch. But if I was Bosch, man, I would still just slide on over to Houston, Bosch. You know you want to do it. Just make money and win at the same time. It's not rocket science. So anyways, man, jumping into this game. This is game two of round one in the NBA playoffs. And if you missed my first game, the Mavericks actually beat me in the first game, man. They blew us out. Monte Ellis, he had a cool 33 points, you know, something like Dirk went off, Elton Brand and Juan Blair went off. It was just tough, but you see, I am not playing around this game. You see me with the strange range. Troy Woodson came out guns are blazing. 11 points, two assists, two boards. I really have to step my assist up this game because last game, you know, whenever I have less than 10 assists, I feel like I ball hard a little bit, but I really had to just to close the gap. But this game, I'm doing a lot better. I mean, it's only three assists right now, but it will build. You see us on a fast break, passing over to little Zay Isaiah Thomas. He's going to finish that easy two points, the easy deuce. And you see, we have a big lead on the Dallas Mavericks right now. I just do not like losing to the Dallas Mavericks. They're a tough team to beat on 2K, and it's a challenge every time. You no, know, Dallas is just one of those teams on 2K that's tough to beat. Same with the Milwaukee Bucks, San Antonio Spurs, Kevin Durant and the Thunders. You know, it's just certain teams I struggle against, and the Mavericks are one of those teams. So you see, they're trying to bring the double team. I'm going to find my open teammate, and just look at the ball movement on this play. It was just Spurs like a thing of beauty. Pass down low. Look at Troy Wilson with the cut and the dunk. That was just so nice, man. I wish that could happen every single time off the court, and you know the vertical replays are on deck. 22 inches. Ew, man. That's disgusting. Not the good disgusting either. That's just bad. 20 inches? Come on, Troy. You got to get that 50, but you see me with the assets tonight, playing a little defense. And you know what's about to go down, man. Throwing that oop up to Rudy Gay. I didn't even get that many oops in last game. So now I have to get my oops. I have to get my blocks, man. I didn't get that many blocks last game. We just had to regroup as a squad because everybody played pretty badly. So you see me kicking it out to Rudy Gay right here. He couldn't do anything with that. I got in his way a little bit, but I'm going to just drive in, go to the post. Look at this black on black, on black crime. They try to double team me, but it doesn't matter. I can spin away from the double team, throw up the baby hook. You know T-Dub got that post game. He'll smile forward, but he played like a power forward or center. And look at the pass down low. You know I got the court vision goggles on too. He can play all five positions, man. DeMarcus Cousins, he wasn't even ready for that pass. That pass was so nice. So we're back on defense. And oh, a piece of candy. We out on a fast break. I'm looking for my teammates who do I find. My boy Boogie Smooth. That's just too easy right there. We're trying to break this lead open. Since the Mavericks blew us out last game. We had to return the favor, yo. So you know we trying to come out here and get those buckets and play some defense. 25 points, 8 assists, a way better stat line than my last game. You see me going in for the slam. I mean, if you leave that paint wild open, I'm going to have to do a little work. You see me freaking around just a tad bit. Got the first step on Sean Marion. You know he couldn't keep up. And you see T-Dope, he getting hyped. But we're not done yet because, you know, I play both ends of the floor. They trying to sneak in a pass and access to nah. Boy, stuff like a turkey. And you know I'm looking for my reward. Whenever I get a block on defense, I want to be rewarded on offense. So you see me calling for it. Get open for the jumper, that 24-24 jump shot. And you know it's going to be money going to knock that down. So even though we have a little bit of a lead, we're not going to slow up right here, man. You see me calling for the screen, shooting that three-pointer, that 24-24. Damn, 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 that boy good. And you know that range is just oh so strange. Can't leave me open for those three-pointers. Shot clock winded down, passing out to Isaiah Thomas. And now Isaiah Thomas decides to knock down a three-pointer. I'm glad you showed up this game, Isaiah. I'm really happy that you decided to shoot three-pointers. Look at Jose Calderon, trying to get easy layups. Access denied, boy. You better know your role, son. Look at me push it up court to Rudy Gay. Rudy Gay with the fade. Okay, Rudy, you woke up this morning with Kobe on your mind. What type of fade was that? I mean, I can't get mad at you because it went in. I mean, you lucky it went in because if you would have missed that shot, man, say, you would have been out of here, yo. And look at Calderon again. No, no, say Calderon. Do not come in that paint. And look at me find Rudy Gay again. Going in for the slam. Okay, Rudy, I see you trying to show out. 
But it's funny because with these commentaries, I don't do one takes. Most of the time, I'll do half of the commentary, get on Twitter, and come back and finish the other half. And I just did that, and now I see that Chris Bosh may resign with the Heat. Yo, Chris Bosh, that's crazy, man. I mean, Chris Bosh and D-Wade, and who else? Yo, I really can't be mad at him, though, man. Miami is a hard place to move from, and at least he's showing some type of loyalty to the Miami Heat fans. Now, I wonder what type of domino effect this will have. People will say, D-Wade and Chris Bosh standing in Miami? Maybe I should slide on over there. I don't know, man. Free agency is getting so interesting. But we win game two of the first round. Peace.